What's up, everyone? How you guys doing? Welcome to the show. Wait till you see what happened to the pagans down in Texas. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. What happened down there? And for those that don't say profiling isn't real or doesn't exist, you're a bunch of schlucks. Be right back. Okay, we're going to go into our first deal like we always do, talking about the good that the motorcycle community does, clubs do. Awesome story coming up about the Thunder Guards, and then we're going to get into that despicable thing that happened down there. The sad state of affairs, man, really is sad state of affairs. Here we go. I'm really excited that they came out and they um, and they give presents to my kids and they give gifts to me too. Best feeling ever. Best feeling ever. Once we open up that U-Haul, it's just seeing their faces. It's it's you know it's priceless. Unwrapping another tradition for the One Brotherhood Motorcycle Club in Salinas. This is their eighth annual Adopt a Family event where they deliver toys and food to families most in need. This year, they adopted five families, one in Seaside, four in Salinas, plus a low-income apartment complex in Salinas. One of the families is Diana Almanza and her two kids. I like my toy, and I appreciated that they gave us the presents and the candy. What kind of toys did you get today? I got a puppy and a makeup. Diana is a breast cancer survivor. But now she's fighting another battle of carcinoma cancer. I have it right here in my back neck, and I have it in my back spine, and I have it in my stomach. Yes, so I have, um, I have cancer in my bones. I'm just glad that, you know, I got all the help and the support and everything that I'm going through. The Motorcycle Club fundraises to be able to help families. They also receive donations from local businesses. They say it's about bringing happiness during tough times that keeps them going. We have big hearts, you know, we love giving back to the community. I just want to say Merry Christmas from One Brotherhood Motorcycle Club and thank you to all our sponsors. Thank you. This year we adopt a homeless family. We'll give them a down payment and their first month's rent and whatever children they have, we try to give them a nice Christmas. So we get a wish list from them and we try to get them exactly what they ask for. She's living in a shelter so we figured we'd go ahead get her out of that shelter and if we can help them along the way we will. Sometimes it gets hard but I'm, I'm striving for greatness. Um, I was going through a hard place in my life and you know struggling with trying to find a place and stuff so it was just like a big reaction. I just cried because I was just so overfilled with joy. Oh they were happy. They were ecstatic so the little girl would be real happy. She's got a lot of gifts, clothes, makeup kits and all that so I don't know that struggle of being homeless. So to do that for them, local, it warms your heart. Way to go, one brotherhood and thunder guards. That is what clubs should be known for. Not like all this harassment that went on in this next video. Texas is some kind of special stupid especially after what happened in Waco. They've been using that time and time again to be pricks to anybody that rides. And tomorrow we have a story that actually the cops are giving warnings to bikers because a couple people got busted, but... Instead of just saying, you know, these guys got busted. No, it's everybody's included. Yeah, wait till you hear that one. Anyway, this has to do with a live from the scene happening right there and then profiling stop with the pagans. And it came off of TikTok. And I'll give you his TikTok information as we go. So 
Wait till you see this. People are about hey, to see. Y'all get a supervisor here. How All right. That? Hey, check this out. So we came down to El Paso. This is going on. Wow. We came down to El Paso. We're hanging out. We're having a good time. And absolutely, one of the guys spit on the ground apparently, and that's against the law out here in El Paso. It's probably not a good idea to come to El Paso if you want to spend money and have a good time. Because you fuck around, you spit on the ground, and it's done. Now, we're live. Everybody, y'all come on in. Say hi. Your favorite biker here. We got we got El Paso City Police here. We got all these folks. They're talking about taking people to jail because somebody spit on the ground. Could you believe this? Hey, I want all of my followers to see what we deal with. Right? This is what we deal with. You want to be in a motorcycle club? You want to hang out? You want to party? Listen, we're all veterans. Almost every one of us got honorable discharges, clean records. Hey, we don't go to something. prison. We don't go to prison. Hey, we're actually good guys. And we're, we're not allowed to ride around in town without the gang task force pulling up on us and arresting people, trying to arrest people, possibly arresting people for spitting on the ground. Hey, this is your taxpayers' dollars at work, everybody. Are y'all happy? Are you happy? Listen, most of us are veterans. We did everything our country ever asked us to do. We riding around on motorcycles, exercising our freedom of speech, exercising our First Amendment, right, right? We don't have any weapons on us. We're not drunk. None of us have got any guns. And we're absolutely being harassed by El Paso City Task Force. It's like a gang task force out here. One of the guys spit on the ground and they're talking about taking somebody to jail. I mean, if, if this isn't America, let me tell you, if you voted for this shit, God bless you. God bless you. If your mayor is putting up with this, God help you. And let me tell you, the people I voted for, they don't stand for this. This is, this is not what I went and did everything my country asked me to do for. I didn't go and do everything my country asked me to do for to come home with a clean record, never been in trouble, riding around and getting harassed by a gang task force, right? And one of my guys spits on the ground and we're getting harassed, right? All we want to do is get our tickets so we could just go home, right? That's all we want. Can we just get our tickets? Can we? Is that cool? Can we just get our tickets? I wonder how many viewers I got now. I got a, I got a quarter of a million followers, so the room's getting pretty big. The room's getting pretty big. Guys, this is, this is help. There you go, man. Your favorite biker on TikTok took that video down in El Paso, Texas. For those, again, who say it isn't real or it never happens, you're just full of crap, man. You don't want to open your eyes. You want to believe in something that you have no understanding about when it comes to this kind of stuff. You always are going to take the blue gang side. And like he was saying in the video, man, all they did was spit on the ground. That's basically all you have to do a lot of times for these cops to want to show their peckers. Because that's what it comes down to. They want to show everybody who's the big man on the block. That was a very smart thing right there to do. That way we can all get it out. Because one thing all of us social uh, media creators have is an audience. We can get the word spread all over the place and bring these kind of cops to task. You got to hold them accountable. I get it. They think club members and a lot of bikers are scum of the earth. We've covered that in more on bikers because they can't be us, basically. They don't have the freedom that we have. So they get pissed off. Unbelievable, man. It really is. It's getting to be uh, real stupid in 2021. You think these people would have learned something with all the crap going on around this country. Anyway, let's go to the wall of shame. And let's highlight one of theirs. One of your own. Problem is, he didn't just spit on the sidewalk where you wanted to give somebody a ticket. 
He's actually charged with rape. How do you guys feel about that? Because most of the time when you guys are charged, it's charged for this kind of stuff. East Arkansas police chief arrested, charged with rape, an encounter with drug suspect. Ain't that a way to uh, enforce your power, huh? Terrell police chief was arrested on charges of rape and sexual extortion related to an October incident with a female suspect. A criminal information filed earlier this week accuses Terrell chief of police Perry Lee Jennings of engaging in sexual intercourse with another person by forcible compulsion, which means rape. The document also said uh, Jennings communicated a threat to damage the property or harm the reputation of the victim. Jennings, 57, of Luxor in Mississippi County, was arrested and released just an hour later on a $25,000 temporary bond. City officials has suspended him pending the, the investigation. Jennings' status with the city wasn't clear and calls and emails weren't returned. Very interesting. Let's see here. The woman reported the encounter to the Crittenden uh, County Sheriff's Office the same day, saying she was on her way to Mississippi early in the morning when she pulled over at a Terrell gas station to wake up before continuing to drive. She fell asleep in her car, woke up to an officer knocking on her window, asking if she was okay. The officer, identified by the woman as Jennings, noticed a small baggie on what appeared to be marijuana. Hasn't this country come to a point where marijuana should just be legal? Jesus, man. And asked the women to follow him to the Terrell Police Department. The officer told her she would have a court date and began asking her her personal questions. At the time, the woman asked the officer if she could go to the restroom. Uh, the investigators say the officer followed her and began forcibly touching her in a sexual manner. Blah, and you get the rest of it. You get the rest of it. That's your people. But you have the nerve to always have to show your pecker size when it comes to everybody else. And don't give me, well, you know, we don't approve of that. Well, neither does clubs when shit goes down. They don't approve of it as a whole. But I, I guess that bad apple argument doesn't work. It only works in your guys' favor. I suggest everybody share the video. If you're on TikTok, share it there. Get it everywhere. Get this video everywhere. Because it needs to be. This shouldn't be happening in 2021 in this country anymore. Like he said, all these vets that fought for this country. And they got to come home to something like this. It, it's just amazing. At how. They feel emboldened to do whatever they want to do. Gang task force, man. Hopefully uh, Popeye and OG uh, have some more information on this one. Or uh, MPP gets out there on this. My goodness, man. Don't go down to El Paso. It's like, damn, man. What way you, got, you bikers got to live down there? I feel for you. Because they have gotten just god awful since Waco. It's like the number one freaking target zone down there, isn't it? I, I, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if they're pulling over a lot of independents now compared to MCs. It, it, you want to know what Australia looks like? Shit, just take a look at Texas right now with all their stupid uh, profiling crap going on. Anyway, don't forget to go over to the Roku TV, Fire TV, download uh, Insane Throttle TV over there. Got a lot of stuff going on. Go over to Official Insane Throttle. Don't forget... The rest of the show is over on the podcast platform. You only get 15 minutes here on YouTube. So with that, talk to you guys later. Rock on, baby. We'll see you later.